Okay, Blue Breeze, Tommy Titchmarch, one more time. Our peas are in the ground. Let's take a look. There we go. Nice little arrangement at the base of the willow structure there. And they're all sitting in the ground, nice and happy now. They've just about all been tied on to keep them nice and secure. And the last thing we're going to do now, with the spout taken off, so I don't get any all over the leaves, because I want those leaves to stay dry, I'm going to give them a really generous water into the ground and make my way around each one giving it a really good drink and the reason i don't want to get the water on those leaves is because i don't want those leaves to get burnt because if the sun shines through those water droplets it ends up working a lot like when you shine a magnifying glass and you can burn things and the same thing happens the water gets reflected by the droplet and burns the leaf so we have to be careful not to get the leaves wet when the sun is shining like it is right now anyway that's it from me for now your three-step guide to getting your peas in the ground and i'll keep you up to date with how those are going i'll uh, figure out a way to keep them netted and safe so that the birds and snails and slugs and things don't eat them and hopefully i'll be able to keep you updated with some nice pictures and videos as they grow up this big strict structure and look really beautiful i hope that's it from tommy titchmarsh for now guys take care blueberries and i'll speak to you all soon take care bye bye